Can you imagine conquering most of Europe in just over a decade? That's exactly what Napoleon Bonaparte did. But how did he pull it off? In this video, we'll explore the factors that contributed to Napoleon's meteoric rise to power and his unprecedented military success. We'll examine his military genius, his ability to motivate his troops, his strategic thinking, and the political and social conditions of Europe at the time. Napoleon was a born military leader. He had a deep understanding of military strategy and tactics, and he was able to adapt his plans to changing circumstances. He was also a master of logistics, and he was able to keep his armies supplied and moving even on long campaigns. One of Napoleon's key strengths was his speed and mobility. He would often move his troops quickly and unexpectedly, catching his enemies off guard. He also used feints and other tactics to mislead his opponents. Another key strength was Napoleon's use of artillery. He would often concentrate his artillery fire on key points on the battlefield, such as enemy artillery positions and command centers. This allowed him to break through enemy lines and win decisive victories. Napoleon was also a skilled motivator. He was able to inspire his troops to fight bravely and to endure even the most difficult conditions. He was a charismatic leader who knew how to appeal to the emotions of his soldiers. Napoleon would often speak to his troops before battles, reminding them of their duty to their country and to the ideals of the French Revolution. He would also reward his soldiers for their bravery and sacrifice. Napoleon also had a knack for understanding the psychology of his enemies. He knew how to exploit their weaknesses and to demoralize them. This gave him a significant advantage in battle. Napoleon was also a brilliant strategic thinker. He was able to see the big picture and to develop long-term plans for his campaigns. He was also very good at adapting his plans to changing circumstances. One of Napoleon's key strategic goals was to control the major rivers of Europe. This would give him easy access to enemy territory and would allow him to move his troops quickly and efficiently. Napoleon also made extensive use of spies and informants to gather intelligence on his enemies. This knowledge allowed him to anticipate their movements and to develop plans to counter them. The political and social conditions of Europe in the early 19th century also played a role in Napoleon's success. The French Revolution had left many European countries in chaos. There was widespread discontent with the old order, and many people were eager for change. Napoleon offered them a new vision for Europe, one based on the ideals of the French Revolution, liberty, equality, and fraternity. He also promised to spread the benefits of the French Revolution to other countries. Napoleon's message appealed to many people in Europe, especially the young and the dispossessed. This gave him a large pool of potential recruits for his army. Napoleon's conquests had a profound impact on Europe. He spread the ideals of the French Revolution to many new lands, and he helped to create a more modern and unified Europe. However, his empire was ultimately unsustainable. His wars were too costly, and his ambitions were too great. In 1815, he was defeated at the Battle of Waterloo, and he was exiled to the island of St. Helena. Napoleon's legacy is complex and controversial. He was a brilliant military leader and a visionary statesman. But he was also a dictator who waged wars of aggression and conquest. Nevertheless, his impact on Europe was undeniable. He helped to shape the modern world, and his legacy continues to be debated to this day. If you could have one superpower, what would it be and why? And how would you use it to help Napoleon conquer even more of Europe? This question is interesting because it invites the viewer to think about Napoleon's conquests from a different perspective. 